All right, welcome back, everybody. This is round two of Operation Rawhide. We're out here on uh, Basra doing a One Life operation with Squad Ops. If you don't know what Squad Ops is, we are a community that runs One Life operations in the game squad. You can find out all kinds of information on us over at squadops.gg. But this is round two. We had an interesting round one. INS managed to hold on really, really tight round. Really tight round that first. Got down to five on five from, what does it start at? 32 on 40 on 40, roughly 35, 35. So yeah, right down yep. to it. See if the, how the US change up their uh, assault on this one. First round they took the infantry variant, so they got all the uh, extra grenade launchers. Uh, we'll see what the commanders pick for round two. Yeah, we'll see. It might be a little different here. They have the ability to choose. And before we get into this, let's take a second to go over all of the assets and everything that we have with this operation. All right. So the U.S. get two ARs, one GL, one LAT, and one Medic. If they take the infantry option, they're going to get additional four GLs, one FO, which is a forward observer. They also get two MRAPs, two trans, uh, one trans and one MRAP at another location. And if they take the infantry option, they get two logies and a FOB. If they take the mechanized option, they get two strikers instead. For the INS, they get two ARs, one Raider, two LATs, and one Medic per squad. They also get two hats and two scouts per the entire platoon. They get all the vehicle scrounds that they can handle. So the INS has put a, v or a radio jammer in village somewhere. And the U.S. simply has to go and clear it out. The U.S. get the choice between setting their INS or setting their infantry or mechanized squad. They get kind of a choice between those two, and that changed the kind of units that they have. Ultimately, it's going to be whoever manages to get that fob up or keep it up, and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The first one was really, really interesting. I enjoyed it quite yeah, the U.S. had the interesting, they, they went up to the northwest and threw up a fire base uh, with mortars to the northwest, just uh, medium-range mortars, so they're pretty easy to uh, dial in. Didn't actually maybe effective, maybe not. They got a few team kills later in the match, so whether or not it was a net yeah. gain is up for debate. But... It was an interesting tactic that it was totally viable. Um, it just didn't happen to be that effective that round. But they had a good infantry push. They got across, good foothold, and then it just came down building to building. Just the individual gun skills and uh, you know how well you can clear, how well you can hold a hard point. That's what, pretty much what it came down to. Absolutely. And before we get started, I do want to uh, send a shout out, a thank you to all the people who are making this possible. Obviously, you see Tedish and myself flying around in the air giving these overhead cams and showing you kind of what's going on from up top. Uh, but also, a lot of people down there, boots on the ground, giving us first-person cams to make this really cool. Uh, so we're going to go through those real quick. Uh, first up, let's see. We got a list. We've got Muff. But, I mean, yeah, I yeah, we got a list. Maybe, but, I mean, We've got Muff. If you don't know him, he's a good guy. He's one of my commentators out here. Really good dude. Always fun to hang out with. Uh, we've got Burns. We've got Han Solo. We've got Xbit, one of the commands here tonight. We've got Merrick362, who you saw with his sometimes on point, sometimes off point grenades last round. <laughs> we've got Server Air 404, one of the squad leads. We've got Shadowed Ritual, Jay Remick, who was running the mortars, sometimes questionable, sometimes great, and Evan SMA as the last of the cams that is out here, making sure that you guys have some pretty cool stuff to watch while we are going through these operations. So yeah, this operation, if you miss it in the first one, uh, Rawhide, basic attack and defend, we get one insurgent squad that starts in the village here. Uh, they have a radio place down that's the US's objective is to come down here and take it get rid of that radio so they get insurgents start with one squad here the rest of the team starts at their main base and then with all the vehicles down there they have the option to scrounge any vehicles or motorbikes that they want to from the main village and then get up to reinforce um, what it generally ends up being is a fleet of uh, techies running up to uh, reinforce up here while the US choose their plan of attack however it may be um yeah, it's mm. a very simple op, but there's a lot of different ways it can go. So we'll have to see what the uh, U.S. has up their sleeve for this one. Many different things asking, is Karma Cup playing tonight? 
Uh, negative, negative. Karma's not playing tonight. He's taking the night off, having to relax. Uh, so we're out here running it with a full server of people, not including him. But uh, yeah, one shot, one kill, Muff. Oh man, <laughs> Muff is the king of those one taps, man. I, I always love when I see him just rattle off that one tap from range and drop somebody. One of the funniest things. Every time I see him do that, I'm like, yeah, there he goes. That's gonna be a killer. Yeah, you get that one shot. You you don't even get the follow up. You just take it, and you're like, yeah, that was good. Right. Yeah, that was good enough. Yeah. You see the, one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see the blood splatter. That's good enough. It's good enough. That's all I needed. Felt good, man. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. Are, are so you, that first are you, round. You're flying around up at the northern base. Can we get into their uh, platoon brief? At they all? are not doing platoon brief yet. But not once yet. we, once we get that going. We'll definitely listen in. Xbit's taking some time. I heard him say something interesting whenever we first came in here. So the U.S., as we said, gets a choice between an infantry and a mechanized squad. And whenever they were spawning in, somebody was like, oh, are we going to take infantry or mechanized? And Xbit goes, I'm going to let you guys vote. <laughs> what? Wow. Xbit is very democratic, which is kind of rare yeah. for commanders. Normally the commander's like, all right, guys, this is what you're doing. You're going over that hill and you're dying. But what? No, I don't. No, I don't care. Xbit is definitely having been a squad leader in in multiple of his teams. Yeah, he's always like, "What do you guys think? What do we want to do?" So, uh, yeah. And I gotta say, it serves him well. Me earlier today, uh, we took infantry actually. Uh, so, but you know, since we took infantry earlier today, uh, I feel like I would try mechanized. I feel like that might be kind of fun to give that a go i feel like that could and it looks like us is starting to call their guys in but anyway go ahead yeah i just think i, I feel like the mechanized has um, right the it's marker. a lot easier to do well with because you can just put those strikers at range and just cover your guys as they get in and then once you have all the forces embedded in the town and it's building to building then you can move them closer and and support even better um because those optics the zooming in just it just changes the game yep. so much because there's it's no 20 times zoom right is that how much it is? I mean, it's... That's it's, what I've heard. It's, it's plenty. It's plenty to do, plenty of damage with. So, uh... Okay. Well, it looks like the... We're putting down some mines here on these bridges. Oh, yeah, the INS can build before live on this one. Yeah, I wasn't sure they could put down uh, mines and IEDs, but it looks like uh, they got a nice surprise here. Right at the base of that. That's going to be tough to see. Unless All right, here comes the break for U.S. Head. So gonna listen in on that as Xpic tells us guys what's going. Fortress. So this round we're gonna pick the mechanized option. So this is gonna be the assignments, all right? Squad one is gonna take one time striker. Squad two is gonna take one time striker. Squad three is gonna take an MRAP and a trance, and squad four is gonna take an MRAP and a trance. So everything's gonna move to vehicle checkpoint. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna move right on through. Squad one's gonna pick the route in which we take there. Uh, or he may not, I don't know, but uh, creeping the lead striker will just keep picking a route and everybody's going to follow him. Squad 4 is going to take their MRAP right out of Maine. They're going to set up someplace north of Village and start you know, putting some fire on, distracting the insurgents, uh, confuse them a little bit. They'll be like thinking that we are pushing from the north. Uh, their trans truck, Squad 4's trans truck, is going to stop in vehicle checkpoint and they're going to they're get that extra MRAP there. So basically each squad will end up with their own fire support uh, weapon system, either a striker or MRAP. That way if communications break down or the chaos of combat happens, you guys can talk to your driver gunner and hopefully be able to suppress anything you see in front of you. Uh, once again, watch out for those uh, pesky techies, right? The SPGs especially, they're kind of annoying. The surgeons also get two hats, so if you're a uh, you know, an immobile target, you're just standing there skylighting with your vehicle, you're probably a pretty good target for the hat and or SPG. So always be thinking about shooting and when there's a break in whenever you're suppressing, move the vehicle. Use defilade, haul down your vehicle, you know what that means, you know, get behind a hill, only point your gun up above the hill, especially with the real system on the striker, you can get pretty good to range. There's no reason to rush the vehicles up so that they get into the regular RPG range, right? So no heat rounds coming from village. Try to back them off as far as you can. 
Squad leaders will be using the binoculars, direct fire. Your fire team leads, of course, will be helping you guys get into position. Uh, we plan on rallying in Charlie 10, just south of the highway there. So as soon as the platoon pushes through and all the squads are through the city or whatever route creeping picks with this lead, we're going to all rally on Charlie 10. So if there's some kind of uh, ambush or the, the uh, convoy gets messed up, everybody rally at Charlie 10 9, just south of those uh, little buildings there in the highway. Once we're set, we're going to go ahead and um, find out who's alive, who's dead, what uh, vehicles, what uh, equipment we have left, and then we're going to plan an assault on village from the south. More than likely, it'll just be one, two, three, four, right across to right, so one on the, the west side and four on the east side. And we will slowly bound up through the fields using the, uh, the strikers and the MRAPs as uh, suppressing fire, and uh, so hopefully we'll be able to make our way up into village. And when we do this, we need to do it with speed. So as soon as you hit the ground running, GL should be popping HE and popping vertical smoke at the windows at the south village, uh, block their sight. And uh, if you're a gunner on one of the vehicles, help your help your guys out in the field, right? So start suppressing things. If you see anything that pops through a window, any kind of uh, emplacement, just start nailing it. It's basically all I have. It's going to be pretty simple. Um, so hopefully it works out for us this this time. Uh, any final questions? The team four uh, fire team north of village. When should they peel off, or are they? Uh, that, that'll be up to your squad leads. Uh, you know, call. All right, we got to listen in on the brief there. Looks like they have taken the mechanized option, and they're going to be maneuvering those strikers get a couple shots on those from the north and northwest, as well as a push in. Uh, looks like it's going to be coming from the north as well, uh, though they are running some guys over to the east to pick those extra kind of kits. So we'll see how that goes for them. Dark Thinker asking, do insurgents get two hats or shots? They get two hat kits. So they get two of the hat kits they can put anywhere they want. Uh, they can dump them in the village early, or they can keep them back at main, you know, whatever they want to do. Uh, they get two hat kits. Uh, Jaegerbomb asking, just joined. Is this the first round? This is the second round, buddy. So we are done after this, sadly. Somebody asking as well earlier, Rambunctious Gamer asking if he can play in the next round. So in order to participate in these operations, let me take a little moment and talk about that. Uh, SquadOps.gg, you can head over there and sign up, but we require everybody to participate in these ops. We require everyone to do a little training course that we call SOTT Basic, which is Squad Ops Tactics and Training. Uh, so everybody who is in this operation has gone through that course and has gotten a bit of information about how to play the game, basically, and how to operate in the operation. So that's what's going on. Looks like the U.S. rolling out. They are getting their vehicles set. And they are saying that they just need two minutes to set those vehicles up on Von Solo on your screen, driving the striker into position. This is going to be a fun round. We'll see how these strikers play out versus the infantry from the first round. We are still, I think we're leaving people behind. That'd be both of us. Yep. All right. So these strikers. Let's take a moment to talk about them since we're going to be using them in this since we're going to be using them in this operation uh so the strikers they're they're big berthas man they can take a lot of shots and they've got a crow system sitting on top of them with a 20 times zoom and that thing can just lay down a lot of fire it has no separate boxes or belts or anything like that just tears through its entire ammo cache that it has within it can hold about 13 people and that thing can take a beating. You know, the hat kits will put a hurting on it if they really try to, you know, focus their shots and get them in on the strikers. But ultimately, these things, they are nasty. So we'll see what they're able to do with them. Let's see what else we got here. They're lining up this whole convoy. Getting everybody into position. 
All right, and also, one of the other vehicles the U.S. is going to be using, something new to operations, this is one of the first operations that we're using them in, is the MRAP. It's kind of the replacement for the Humvee, if you will. It's got an open-top 50 cal machine gun sitting on top of the thing, and these things are pretty quick. They can cruise around and actually put some good fire on. Reasonably resilient as well. They can take two shots before they really will pop. Uh, one hat shot will put them in bad ta bad neighborhood. They might uh, might pop after that. But ultimately, these things are reasonably resilient, really enjoyable to use. I really like to see the MRAPs in use here. I like the MRAPs in general. They're a fun vehicle. So it looks like we also, on the other side, we are live, by the way. But over there, we've got the Dishka Technical, one of the techies that the INS are going to be using. And that thing is very light. It's basically made of paper. It can blow up at the drop of a hat, but it does have a mounted Dishka on the back of it, and it is fast. So if you are able to maneuver two or three of those things around at the same time, wolf pack them, they can be pretty damn good. Somebody's asking, are the MRAPs new in the game? They're reasonably new. They didn't come in too long ago. All right, the artillery technical as well. One of the other units that the INS is going to be using. This thing is also light, very fast, very quick, uh, able to put out a lot of rockets in a short period of time. Sadly for it, those rockets are only about as powerful as a frag grenade, each single one. So it has to kind of maneuver itself in position. It's hard to use, but it is kind of effective. I would like to see what they do with it. All right, so back up here on the northwest side, it looks like the U.S. have put two guys in here to pick up this MRAP. Still with me, Tedish? Looks like we might have lost Tedish on, on his microphone there, but we'll keep trucking on. Oh, and we've got some contact already here on the east side. As the U.S. pushed in to refinery, there were some technicals here. The strikers managed to pop one of them. They took out one. There's another one that was still around here. It tried to push onto the refinery here, but it could not manage to get itself, get itself into position. Crazy stuff here from that... U.S. is having their guys just push through. The Strikers and all the other vehicles as well, just shoving through as hard as they can. A lat hit comes in. They are just shoving through as much as they can. Man, this is an all-out convoy rush through the city. I'm reminded of some Black Hawk Down moments here as they try to push it through the city. This is crazy. That was crazy to see them just all come shoving through there at one time. Oh no, Xbit command, we just got word. One of the, uh, the command for the US actually bleeds out in the vehicle as they were moving through. Uh, he was in one of the transport trucks and he gets shot and manages, or actually <laughs> has a bad time, ends up going down. So, as we maneuver forward, let's see, it looks like everybody's swinging over to the south here, the other vehicles. Just maneuvering around, this looks like one of the strikers, as well as one of the MRAPs maneuvering around here on the south. So no, record, reviving is not allowed either, so one of the, the things that we'll talk about here is that you cannot revive, Go you cannot, uh, yeah. you're able to patch guys Go and you're west. able to heal them up, 
But after they go down, that is it. That is it. They are down on the ground, dead with the electrical bolt sign on their map, as Hyper always says when he's doing our briefings. <laughs> Copy. Looks like they, yeah, if they can put the strikers down here. Sorry about that. Apparently, I yeah, muted my microphone on accident for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's alright, man. Like, I, I got it. I got it. Hear me? What the hell's going on? Talk over me. That's cool too, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the, I wasn't the trying. <laughs> on this, uh, on this semi-elevated highway down here, and moving back and forth without getting too bumpy, and still see extreme range. And they, I mean, you yeah, can get the good kills from here. The problem they're going to run into is the fog and the, uh, okay. mostly just the fog from this distance. That stuff is hard to see through, so we'll see if they're able okay, to do anything with it. Do. Who's in this uh, right striker on the north? Looks like he's just there as a distraction up there. Two strikers it's actually an MRAP, yeah. Or right, MRAP, up me, yeah. He's got Kiva next so, to him. I gotta say, I don't know, this uh, this push through the city looks like they lost a lot of their guys. Am I seeing that correctly? Like, there's barely anybody here on this. I think there were two two KIA in the US and looks like five on oh, okay, not bad. All the driver and gunner combos. Not as bad as I thought, not as bad. But, I mean, out of two, one of them was command, so that's, that's some great luck right there. <laughs> Looks like so, command down. going down, creeping taken over, though. See how the, uh... Three, six, oh, okay. Nine, Looks like they're lining up. Cover. Creeping's calling out to make a big line and then just advance to the north. Oh, Insurgent's got some mortars up. Let's see how those line out. They're calling mortars, 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 getting ready, uh, but who knows if they actually know where there's a... They're firing to the north on that lone MRAP. So that's not going to be too effective. So it looks like there's some uh, communication problems with Squad 4. They. I wonder if they lost somebody key up there because they like two do not know. I'm seeing some fire coming in from like a dishka or something mounted yeah, up one north. Of those That's extreme that range. Is. Good luck. Dark Thinker saying, I hope we get some cool techie action, you know, or the rocket techie rocket. action, you know. I really do too. I really like the rocket techie. It's, it's, it's weak, but if it's used well, it's fun. Weak, but used well. Good times. You know, they still have these two strikers, though. I was going to say, you know, even if you lose a couple guys on that push through the city, you still got these two strikers. Those things are very strong, so. Let's see. It looks like uh built some minor amount of defenses here. Guys, we need to get this organized Just a few. Visual of two technicals heading north, northwest. Trying to figure out where this radio is. Just get this done. Can't be too far. Where did they put it? Somewhere around there. Normally it shows up. Okay, here it's in the it's in the northwest. It's in the northwest corner. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. Miscommunication with the driver. Kind of a northwest, a little bit in the center of town. Infantry just spread out all over. Really no hard points built up besides maybe a little bit at the mortar pit. I am Terran asking, is it random who becomes command? No, it is not. We actually have signups that go up weekly uh, with who wants to command, who wants to SL, so on and so forth. Command is reserved for staff and above because they're the guys who have been here for a while and kind of know the flow of things. Uh, SLs are reserved for regulars and above. So regulars are people who have been in the community for a while and are recognized as part of our community. So. That's how that works. Hey, Triton, that, uh, that MRAP's heading your way. We also have fire team with... leads. Those Not can just be anybody. I want, um... Triton, pull, pull off, pull, pull back to our side. 
Can you guys hear pretty well, uh, creeping when we're not talking? Can you guys hear command comms? Probably not too well. It's usually turned down while we're streaming here, so... Can't really hear him that way. Might be able to listen. Alright, they're finally getting set on this, uh, platoon push here. Vehicular platoon push. So they were talking about this. What they're going to do is... Uh kind of do this push and then just once the once the vehicles get up to the fields on the south then they're going to dismount infantry and actually do the push i am Terran. is it oh you were saying whenever command goes down no it, it will go to the next sl so it will go to squad lead one typically and then to squad lead two squad lead three so on so uh, they're generally command isn't the first to go down but sometimes they are right Got some rocket already going out here. Not terribly effective versus this push. Here it comes. Look at this line. Some mortars coming. It's big vehicle push. Yeah, they're spread out nicely. Well, it was nice. Now it's uh, kind of all over the place. Gets a little bunchy. Can get bunchy real quick. Here All they right. go, they are nearly at the field. The west side made it to the field. Man, they are pushing right up to that wall. They managed to disembark their guys. Oh. The MRAP, MRAP takes, takes a bunch of hits. Disc oh yeah. That thing's gonna pop. There it goes, they Pop's didn't get down. out of it. Striker down. Another shot goes in on the south. Man, that is rough. This push not going exactly as planned. Oh, there goes. This the, is going to be a hard. One of the techies is down. They've got a whole lot of mounted guns on that side. Dishka now firing in on this striker. Yeah. We'll see if they're able fire. to pop it. A last shot goes. Oh. Gets hit with some red smoke. Ooh. Oh, striker down. So that's both the strikers. No, 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 over there. <laughs> Hard to keep track of everything. You're scaring me. You're scaring me with those, uh, those striker. Man, this striker now moving into dangerous ground. Fuck! Oh, there's one insurgent alive in here in the back, and he manages to kill two INN or two US. That is Digit alive down here in the south. He's managed to take out two. Oh, now he's in their back he's line. Yep. And he is in flank city. He's placing an I or no, he's bandaging. Oh, now he's getting. Oh, and he goes down. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that was a good little round. The US is on this bridge on the far uh, west side. We got a full squad. Oh, I hate over that here. bridge. It's a fire team. But they actually have uh, that MRAP support, so it looks like it might actually work out this time. Yeah, in the first round, no, they this, do. Bridge, this bridge took out so many uh, US. They all pushed there, and then they stopped, exactly like what's happening here. <laughs> oh, except they have, there's a slight difference this time, is that they got an MRAP over here doing supporting fire. Although, who is this down here? Tri Triton? On the other side of the river, that they have no clue where he is. Oh, and he's got RPGs. He's a hat. This is a hat kit. Oh my. Yeah, you can see these guys oh. stuck down oh. here by the. Hats down. They killed he's the taken hat? out by the yeah. MRAP. Yep. Just got took one in the face, and then he jumps into the river. Yeah, well, that's, that's a bad day. For... Here comes the push. Looks like these guys are starting to make their assault heard. Fire in some shots, get on the north side of this bridge. There's a nice loose, uh, loose line here. Yeah, so far they're not doing too bad. They did lose some vehicles and stuff, but so far not terrible. No, 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 put this other frag, 198, 198, 198. We'll have to see what they're able to do with this. Oh, 
Full squad, shift south. Full squad, shift south, except puppy. On the west side, they've gotten a little bit of a foothold here. Uh, a couple, just three guys, though. So they're going to start flanking around to the north and actually see what they can do on that side. Ooh, mortars coming out. Those were really close. Gaming Brennan and FX-1000 within 10 feet of mortars. That is pretty crazy to see. Those guys just, they fire in those mortars and you hope that they're going to hit. It's hard to get a good accurate read on where you're going to place the mortars. But if you can get a good shot in, always oh. nice. There goes a 50 cal. Oh, no, that was just a, a tech. No, that was a striker. The striker goes down on the west side. Oh, only ID one left. Off. Doesn't ID kill anybody. <laughs> yeah, didn't do anything. There's just one guy alive from this three-man push. The squad lead went down outside. Another one went down here. And now we're just looking at basically one person left on the west side. What's the south assault looking like? Uh, they were in the poppy fields here. We got what one, two, three, four, five insurgents. Grimble, right in front of you. Um, they're in a decent position here. He's very gone now. They got good cover. There's a little bit of a, a flanking eastern assault too. If you look, there's three guys over there on the east. Yeah, Looks like they okay. might try to maneuver in there. Oh, and there's one, one effective on the west. But deeper in, there's a lot of insurgents still alive in there. They're gonna, they're gonna the striker the just took a lat shot as well on the south. So that's two I think it's taken now. I thought both the strikers went down. It's so hard no, to you, you keep No, you keep thinking. You keep thinking, but nope. <laughs> I saw an explosion on that striker, I swear to God. Maybe it was the techie right next to it. Just keep moving when you're uh, peeking the... Can't give him an easy... So now the striker just trying to push in a little bit. Keep some good eyes on. He's getting that and this down U.S. push from the people. east. Yeah, that's a good, it's a good place to be. There's a lot of INS left, though, man. Just one guy alive here on the western side, trying to hold out, trying to stay alive, and that is going to be Diplex. Actually, Diplex, the Diplex? sole survivor. <laughs> Yeah, he's the only one alive over here on the west side. Just hiding in a field, or hiding in behind a building. Kind of one-on-one, -on -one, although he's about to get flanked. Hey. Versus Jay Remick. Uh, no, he's on the west. He's on yeah. the west. Is that... Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, Jay uh, Remick Jay moving around. Yep. River. I got one frag, though. And he maneuvers around the building just at the right time. <laughs> Looks like there's more loose Can you repair there. vehicles? No, you cannot. No repairing of vehicles out here. Occasionally, some apps map a bit. Ops, we will uh, allow repairing of vehicles, but it's pretty rare. Right. Very situationally dependent. Yeah, they're coming south. Yeah. Fast. Diplex just moving here. It looks like he's trying to regroup with the rest of the team because he lost everybody around him. If we tell it, we tell everybody, you know, if you uh, end up alone, just try to regroup with your guys the best you can. That's what we tell everybody. So it looks like he's doing that. So good for him. All right. Looks like uh, the U.S. made it into the compound for the most part. And he just got absolutely dropped. Diplex gets dropped on the west side. Uh, scout pushed in behind him. That was uh, Keeman, actually. Drops him in the back of the head, and that's going to be the end of Diplex there. Copy. These guys are doing a pretty good job. Miyamoto. As a medic. They've got a lot of village to push through with that fog beam on the northwest side. Striker puts in some shots near friendlies, but uh, they're okay. Yeah, it's strikers. All you can see is just just the crow system sticking out. That's pretty vicious. <laughs> like just a 50 cal barrel and an antenna or three. Mm -mm. 
Another U.S. soldier goes down on the south here. And we've got one alive in this building. How many we got on the east there? Two alive on the east. Up oh, three. Three alive on the east. Three on the east, one Shots in the building, stay there. and probably two in the striker. Maybe just one. No, it's two. Yeah. Two. Tommy, up here on the north side, manages to take down one INS. There's another right by him. You can hear the footsteps. He can definitely hear the footsteps, so there's somebody close to him. Yeah. Another one pushing in with him. He knows he's there. He knows he's oh, there. Under the... that... And that is Evan SMA taking down 3-0 Mike Mike. There's always someone under that under those stairs. Every round there's There was one earlier. There. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves it. They're like, you know, you know where's a great place for me? Right in this non exitable location. They're, That's a good place to be. to be a wizard. You know? <laughs> Hide under the stairs and yeah. walk. Striker exiting its hold-down position. Now we've got one, two, three, four U.S. infantry alive, as well as the two in the striker. So that is uh, six, six uh, total, 14, basically. I think. Yeah, yeah. This was a. Uh, a dirty, dirty push from the U.S. It uh, fell apart a little bit, but we'll see if they're able to clean this up. Doesn't help when you lose command on the first engagement. Yeah, that's just Otherwise, unfortunate. That's unlucky. I feel like Creeping did a pretty good job of taking me. over. Watch my entrance, please. Oh, yeah. Creeping, no complaints there. Uh, he definitely stepped up. Uh, yeah, I'm up. Evan, on your screen now, live, trying to maneuver through these buildings and get them cleared. Oh, over here, some shots coming in. A grenade goes into the compound. That was Tommy. Best pony on the corner. Peeks him. Tommy fires back. Tommy moves out there. There's a just an explosion. What was that? Oh, that was a that dishka That was the striker up. taking down a dishka, yep. All right. I was worried that striker had popped. I didn't know what it was, uh, what was going on. It's not going to happen, apparently. Tommy Called peeks through the corner. Best pony happened. takes him out. Best Pony drops Tommy there. Nope. Striker taking some 50 fire. Firing back. Takes out the gunner. On that static shot. So now we've got three U.S. infantry. Oof. As well as the two in the Striker. There's Shots going gunner. in on the west here. Oh, there it goes the And they take it. In dramatic fashion. The bodies and the fly bodies and flop around. <laughs> and hover in the air for a little bit. Oh, and then they're on the ground. Welcome to Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just three infantry three. left. That striker was... The, yeah, just, that striker was basically the last of their, their resources. So push coming up here. This is Han Von Solo and oh, Revenant about there's... to face off. Han Von Solo takes down Rev. Good position there, camping those stairs. Camping. He was covering his back. He was covering his camping. stairs. Camping covering doesn't exist stairs. in the squad. All right, so Han Von Solo saying he hears at least two by him. And he is right. He has two close to him. There's a lot of INS left, though. Yep. Not impossible. Definitely. Just rough. It's going to be rough. You can see here Han holding these stairs. He doesn't really want to move up. You know, this is confusing me, though. I get that the INS want to move out and kind of hunt, and, you know, there's, there's instincts take over, but... The INS don't have to do anything. Yeah, it's the U.S. that has to push in here. One... Peek window. I'm in the com I'm in the court. You pushed inside the compound. C seven to eight. One time the INS. Grimble and Hips and Nips are trying to sniff each other out here. Here we go. Immune moving up behind Han Von Solo here. He might see him if Han peeks that wall too much. There's two guys close here. One US down. Han Von Solo. Yep. 
Now just two U.S. infantry left. Evan's taking shots at Jay Remick here. Ooh. Shots coming back at him. Who? He's bandaging. He's got a bandage. Han Von Solo takes out one to the east, but then Ooh, somebody pushes up behind shot. him and takes him down. And that looks like it. Yeah, Han Von Solo oh, wow. and Evan that's SMA go down about the same time. And that's it. GG. That is the second round of Operation Rawhide. Surgeon's taken home on round two. Took it home on round one as well, just yep, barely. Yep. Not quite as close, but still, still great. I mean, it's such a variety of options on there. We're gonna see if we can get, uh, right. get some interviews here. Get the commanders. Yeah, I'm gonna grab those guys. See if we can get them in here. Got to find them first. Get Larue in here. Where's he at? I got him. All right. Got Larue joining us, and then we're going to find your other commander, Xbit here. How's it going, moment. guys? Doing well, doing well. We'll uh, spend a few seconds talking to you guys. How do you feel about that round? How did it go? Oh, that was fun. I definitely enjoyed both rounds today. Yeah, so you, you made the choice to go with the infantry option in the first one. So what was your reasoning there? What did you think that that was going to provide as a strength for you? Reasoning. The reasoning behind my thought was I had uh, some really confident SLs who I know uh, and proven to be good on mortars. So I thought the obvious decision just get that mortar support uh, while I cover the infantry that would push in on the village. So for you, Xbit, did the mortar coverage actually kind of keep your heads down? Was it hard to hold out through? Um, yes and no. I mean, it, it definitely limited movement within village, but um, I think at that point we were pretty much set in our positions. Indeed, indeed. You know, you guys had a, a good job of kind of doing that first initial push. We watched that happen, and you got a great foothold on the west western side. You got a good foothold on the north too, and then it seemed like the building clearing is where things started to get rough. Did you feel like pushing through those alleyways was a little tough for you? Going with LaRue on that one. Oh, for allowed. the for the first round? Sorry. We're talking about the first round. Oh yeah. No no um for sure. Um the the, the general plan was just take both um both bridges, the land bridge, and just storm the buildings by force. Um, but like Expert said, he was pretty set up in the buildings, so when we were uh, clearing them, we started to lose people. And um, they didn't actually clear one of the last buildings, so I was following the platoon up and I got shot in the back. But uh, my SLs did an awesome job uh, taking care of uh, command both rounds when I died. Very good, very good. Expert, for you, you made the choice to go with a mechanized unit. We heard before that you were going to let people vote. Is that is that how that uh, yeah, it was a vote and then uh, a plan by committee, so... Was that squad leader vote or full platoon vote? No, oh, that, that was squad leader vote. Okay. Weren't going to leave it up to the full platoon, I guess, <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, no we, it, it, that way the squad leaders can they get a little bit more uh, invested in whatever the, the plan is. So, and then they, they we devised a plan, you know, with all the squad leaders, uh, and uh, that's what the choice we made. So yeah, that plan on so, the second round, you were hoping to get, what I saw was you were hoping to get all the way through the city without being engaged or spotted in an assault from the south, correct? Was uh, that kind yeah. of the idea there? Right, yeah, I told Creeping because he was giving me the lead striker just to pick us a route and just to have the convoy push through any kind of contact. And then we were going to rally to the south and then do a full platoon push with the uh, the vehicles in, in fire support. Well, ended up being uh, pretty good. You guys, what? Well, you took two casualties going through there yourself, of course, being one of them. That was uh, that was some luck right there. But the platoon push afterwards of the vehicles looked great. Seemed to be do a pretty good job. Um, and then, yeah, I guess down that the village is a tough the, nut to crack. Yeah. yeah, it's not like most people expect this this op to play out kind of like a vanilla village rush, but it's not because it's really hard really hard for the U.S. to get inside. 
Very well. Well, we thank you guys for joining us and thank you for taking some of your time afterwards for talking with us and uh, letting us know how things went. We also want to be- say a big thank you to, uh, like I said, both of our commands, all of the Squad Ops community, all of the SLs for putting on an entertaining time tonight. And we also want to say thank you to all the wonderful cameras that you guys saw. Obviously, myself and Tedish were flying around in the air, but a lot of other cameras making this possible. We got Muff, Burns, Han Solo, Xbit, Merrick 362, Server Air 404, Shadowed Ritual, J Remick, and Evan SMA. Also, a big thank you to our man behind the camera, the unsung hero, the pen. What an awesome guy. Gotta, gotta have, love me some Gotta pen. have pen for the multicams. Gotta. So uh, if you guys want to see more of our content, we encourage you to head over to twitch.tv slash squad ops, youtube.com slash squad ops, or if you want to sign up and get to know more about us, you can find us at squad ops.gg. But other than that, we're done for the night. This was Operation Rawhide, session two. And we hope you guys have a wonderful night. Say goodbye, friend. Have a good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs>